Well, this is the starting configuration of the iMac Pro, and we're going to price it at just $49.99. Wait, what? That's the starting price? $5,000? $5,000! Draft, did you hear that? And it's going to be available in December. December? I feel like we can do better than that. This is Dell's 5720 Precision Workstation, and it's an all-in-one that truly earns the title workstation. It has Xeon CPUs at 3.8 gigahertz, the turbo boost up to 4 gigahertz, 64 gigabytes of RAM, a video card that can go up to 8 gigabytes of video memory, a 4K high-resolution screen, and three screaming fast hard drives. In fact, this one is currently equipped with an MVNE drive that's crazy fast, and a standard spinning terabyte drive. It really all starts with the 4K screen. I mean, the thing is gorgeous. It's 27 inches and it's a touchscreen depending on how you configure it. Something that might not be obvious at first is the thing's on an articulating arm. It can actually come down flat and you can use it like a table, which makes the touchscreen even more handy. What's truly remarkable about this unit though is its six speaker array. With integrated subwoofer, it sounds great and it really accentuates the mids, which is great for gaming, dialogue, and a lot of music. This unit comes with Ubuntu 1604. You can also get it configured with Windows 10, but I know what you're really thinking. With Xeon processors and tons of RAM and PCIe storage, this thing's a monster and you can configure it in so many different ways that the starting price is below $2,000. This as configured is somewhere around $3,600, which is still cheaper than the starting price of the iMac Pro. I would seriously consider this if your workload doesn't require Mac OS or Final Cut and you want a crazy well-performant machine that's an all-in-one, this checks the boxes. Anyone who has a task that requires a lot of compute power or high disk I.O. and you really want Want no fuss, great screen, good graphics, and a system that's going to last you years, that's the use case for this computer. Now, if you don't need Xeon processors and ECC RAM, consider looking at the XPS line. I decided to put this through some high-end video editing. I took some 4K footage, 60 frames per second, H.264, and loaded it on this machine. If you're watching the video in the background, it's just playing back raw off the internal storage, and it, it drops a few frames. This is not a ding on this computer, this is just actually a problem on Linux. It doesn't matter how much hardware you throw at this, you have to have hardware accelerated video decoding. Good news is, the CPU in this rig supports hardware accelerated video decoding, so applications like MPV and future versions of Ubuntu will support hardware acceleration right off the ISO. I decided to put this thing through its paces with a 4K video test, and here's my results. impossible to convey what a monster this thing is in terms of performance, so I'm going to link in the more information box below comparison links on openbenchmark.org where you can run the same tests I ran against this rig and compare them to your machine and see what the performance delta would be. I'd like to know what you think of that idea for future reviews of linking comparison to openbenchmark.org links so you can always see what the delta would be between your own machine and decide if it's a good value for you to make the upgrade. Just give me the love in the comments if you like that idea. Hit the thumbs up for more reviews to give me an indication if you like these kinds of videos. That's my quick look at Dell's Precision 5120 all-in-one workstation. For a more in-depth review and to hear more about some of my workloads, tune into Linux Unplugged.